everybody. You are back in Stephanie's kitchen, and today I am making some collard greens with smoked turkey. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing this. I'm using my Instant Pot. Again, I can tell you this pot is the best because greens could take forever, but with this pot, it makes it so much easier and so much simpler. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing, okay? First of all, I am going to put in some some olive oil and I like this stuff found in the store um, Bencenio's um, olive oil and I have different kinds but I'm gonna put what I have left in here and this one is a Italiano I'm gonna pour some of that in there and this pot is already hot and I'm gonna also pour some of the roasted Italian roasted garlic excuse me in here in the pot so we got some olive oil in here and next I'm going to put in my onions okay I have onions diced up one onion diced up okay let that saute a minute and there's no salt seasoning and I in general I like to use no salt seasoning and then kind of add your own salt to it so I'm going to add a little bit of this. I'm going to add about a, a tablespoon of it in here. That's nice. Okay. And I'm going to add, actually this is onion powder. And frankly, I'm just going to add the rest of it, which is about another tablespoon. Add it right on in here. And the next thing I'm going to add, my God, I love this stuff. This is toasted onion and garlic. There's a lot of garlic in this stuff, but that's okay. That's what makes it good. Add about a tablespoon of that in there, a little bit less. And I am going to add... It definitely needs a little sage in here, so I'm going to pop a little sage in, in here. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to open this up, pop a little sage in here. Maybe about a half of the tablespoon here. So, yeah, put a whole tablespoon in. That's okay. And also, greens need some spike into it. So just a little, a little bit of pepper flakes. I'm gonna sprinkle a little in there. That's it, I'm not gonna put too much in there. And some of these spices that I'm using actually has red pepper flakes in them. So, okay, I put some of the seasoning in right now. What I'm gonna do, I use better than bouillon. Um, for, for my seasoning, which is right here. I use the chicken better than bouillon. Stuff is really good. So you use whatever direction it says, but I'm making, I'm putting four cups of better than bouillon into this pot right now. Take the pot and see the steam come up. I'm gonna get that in here. Get all I can in here. I am now Gonna throw some garlic in here. And throw a teaspoon from your silverware. We'll put that much garlic in here. And I'll put a little thyme in here. Uh, let's say a little sprinkle or so, about a half a teaspoon of thyme in here. I need a little that's this is more time. I'm going to put a little garlic powder in it also. And I'm going to put some um, garlic and parsley. This stuff is very good too. Put a little bit of that in there. I could sprinkle it some in here. Right now that's going to be good. Okay. Then I'm going to put just a little bit of Lowry's in here, uh, a sprinkle. Pour it in. One, two, three. It's enough. No more. I don't think it needs any more. If it does, we'll put more in as we as we get this thing going. Now I've washed off my my um, my turkey wing and I'm throwing her right up in here. And what I'm going to do is this already smells really good. What I'm going to do is let her cook for about a half an hour. 
I'm gonna put it on high pressure for half an hour. When she's done, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna have my collard greens out the bag, already rinsed off, although they're already triple washed, and I'm gonna wash them again. And I'm gonna put the collard greens in after she comes up. So we'll be back after that. Okay, I'm back. It's been 30 minutes and I released the pressure and I took the turkey wing out. As you can see, this turkey wing is done. So what I, what I do, what I wanna do, is I wanna cut up the wing, you know, so it can be in more bite-sized pieces. juice for me when I put the collard greens in. So what I'm going to do at this point is put the turkey back in. Put this turkey right back in here. As I said, I took a little taste and I think it needs a little, a little salt and I'm just going to use some regular sea salt. Throw about a little I don't know, about a half a, a half a teaspoon really in here. But as I said, when you do things, you do it to your taste. It's important to taste your food. You know, especially that things like this, it's really important to taste the food and see how you like it. So, because some people like stuff, other people don't. So, here is my collard greens. Here are my collard greens. And I am putting them in now. I already washed them again that I triple washed but I washed them some more now I'm going to stick them in here and we're putting the, the top back on there we go okay it'll be back we'll be back in 30 minutes and we should have some collard greens see you soon Hey everybody, are you back in Stephanie's kitchen? And I'm back and I'm finished with my collard greens and my turkey necks, turkey wings are in here. So what I'm gonna do is pour this pot liquor right in. That's pot liquor right there. And that's the juices that came from this. There you go. Yeah, but there it goes. There goes my collard greens, homemade collard greens, ready to eat and have a good night. Thank you. One more thing. Please subscribe. Please thumbs up and please share. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Have a good evening.